put on my Instagram a couple of days ago that I wanted to do a makeup tutorial on this look and I finally found the time to do it. I woke up super early. It's a Friday morning. My kids were asleep and I was just, you know, wasn't sleepy. So I remembered the post that I had put. Um, so I was like, oh my God, this is like the perfect time to do my makeup video. And um, it was a little difficult because I'm not used to doing these kinds of videos and my YouTube channel is about, you know, life with my kids, but I really, really wanted to do a makeup video. So if you wanna see how I did this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, putting my hair up because I have a bunch of baby hairs. I'm going to moisturize my face and I'm gonna be using the Garnier, what is it, uh, Skin Active and this i love this it leaves my um face you know really silky because um my face in the winter gets really really dry so got a little bit of this and just throw it all over my face oh my god the smell is just amazing i love this moisturizer the rule of makeup is actually to put your foundation on first but i don't know not too long ago i started you know fixing my eyebrows and doing my eyeshadow before i do my before i do my foundation i know a lot of girls do it you know the other way around but you know that's just me and the reason why i like to do my eyes first is because sometimes eyeshadow falls down or just anything so that's just me so i'm gonna start off with um my concealer and i've tried doing my eyebrows without using concealer and it's it's terrible it's my skin is too dry and i don't like it so i'm gonna rub a little bit concealer on my eyebrows and on my eyelid to go ahead and do my eyebrows and eyeshadow So now that I've blended out my concealer, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows and I'm using the um, L'Oreal, uh, how, how do you say it, L'Oreal, whatever. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. And before I start, you know, filling out my eyebrows, I like to brush them just a little bit. So they can be kind of in place. I've never done a makeup video before, so I don't know like how do how do girls do it. So I guess I'm just gonna use a mirror because I feel like I'm too far away. But I'm gonna try to do get as close as I can. So I'm gonna um sorry you see I always start on my right side first. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top, and I you see start where my hair gets and I kind of do like a V shape here. And what I try to do on the very edge, I really don't mess with it because I liked for them to look natural. I like to like have kind of like some hairs so it won't look that, um, um, I don't even know what's the word. It sucks because I ran out of Q-tips yesterday and I hate, hate doing my eyebrows without Q-tip q-tips and when i was when i started doing this video i had forgotten about my q-tips so i'm just gonna have to make it work okay so next i'm going to get this flat brush oh i think that's dirty and um rub a little bit of concealer not a whole lot just a little bit and um just you know start fixing them Now that since I don't have Q-tips and this step is very important because it just lines them up really, really nicely. And I do the top as well. Moving on to my eyebrow gel. And now I'm running out as well. Oopsie. And this just makes them look a little bit more natural. So that is it for my eyebrows. Um, hopefully they kind of look even. I don't know. I always feel like this one comes out better. But I don't know. 
so I know they're not perfect. I'm going to be using um, this eyeshadow palette that is called Royals and they have it has really pretty colors and I'm gonna be using my favorite ones with which is the Majestic and the Regal or Rigel, however you pronounce that. So that's just a close up. For my face, I'm going to be using this light purple or lily. I think it looks darker in camera, but it's really light and it's called the Primrose, Prime Rose, something like that. It's this one right here. Okay, and I'm going to be using my one dollar elf <laughs> eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna rub a little bit on it and I'm gonna use this for my base so I'm just gonna start doing this. So next I'm going to get a little bit of the Regal and the Majestic and I'm going to rub both of them together just to get a darker look and I'm going to do it on my crease. I think I think that's the crease, I don't know. So I'm just gonna rub a little bit on it. Let me get it closer. Okay, rub some more and rub some more and then I'm gonna start doing it in circular motion. Okay, this is the reason why I leave my foundation to the end. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rub that off and I know it looks bad right now, but trust me, it's gonna turn out really, really pretty. Okay, so whatever I do to this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this eye off camera. It just, you know, makes it easier. I've seen my um, other palette, which is um, Profession Eyeshadow. And these are very, very shimmery. I love them. I know they're getting really old. I've had them for like a year now and I love them. And for this color, I'm going to be using these two these don't have names for my eyelid just to make it a little bit more glowy and glittery i'm gonna grab both of them and put them on my eyelid and blend that out really really good so now that i'm done with my eyeshadow i'm going to move on to my foundation and i'm using the neutrogena um foundation and it's in the shade um, let's see a number here. Oh, here it is. It's the classic ivory tin. Just a dab, just a dab. Just a dab. Then gonna move on to my beauty blender and oh wait i forgot to wet it back with my concealer and do these terrible dark circles so i'm gonna rub them in rub 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 and rub 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 Moving on to my powder, my loose powder. I'm using the Maybelline. Oh, that's another makeup brand I can pronounce. Maybelline. Maybelline. May. May. May you be real. Maybelline. I'm using the Maybelline. May. Maybelline. Oh well, it's that right there. All over my flames. Just a little bit more. I'm moving on to my brown or bronzer. Yes, I said that right. So this is like a bronzer, and I know it's really dirty. Sorry. You can tell I use that one a lot. So it's a bronzer and um, blush palette. All right. So you see, do my brush like this and my face like this. I'm 
moving on to the next step, I'm going to be okay. Let's try that again. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to be baking using the this um Ulta Beauty translucent finishing powder. My sister got this for me. So I'm gonna go preheat my oven to 350 degrees so I can start baking. <laughs> no, but seriously. And I'm gonna do it like right under my, where I bronzed and under my eyes. So aquí me estoy poniendo un poco de harina. Como no estoy muy blanca, quiero poner un poquito más blanca. Boo. Okay, so I'm gonna let this bake for just a few um, minutes while I kind of retouch my eyeshadow and all. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend all this together using my the same brush that I use for my powder. Okay, so now moving on to my highlighter, I'm gonna add just a little bit, and I usually do this with my finger. I used to do it with my um with the brush, but oh my god, it would be like a whole lot. So I'm gonna do that funny face again. Mm -hmm. Took a little bit with my finger, just a dab. Um, then rub it with a clear finger. I mean, with like a finger that doesn't have any product. And a little bit on my nose. And just kind of rub it all the way up. Moving on to the lip gloss. And I think I got this lip gloss for like $3 um, from Wish. I love that app. look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was a lot of work I don't think I'll ever do another makeup um, video because I honestly I didn't think it was gonna be this hard but I don't know all the talking that you have to do you know showing your products and you know I can't really do that at the same time but I really really wanted to do this video because I know I had posted on my Instagram that I wanted to do this look this makeup tutorial on my YouTube channel but like I said it's probably the last makeup video that I'll do because it's you know it's really hard but I'm glad I I'm glad I did it and I can't wait to upload it and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and actually like the finished look and to be honest I think I have way better lighting in my dining room than what I did in my bathroom so hopefully the video doesn't look that bad but um so yeah this is the finished look video right now since you know it's like past nine o'clock and my munchkins are probably getting up and I have to go fix breakfast but you know this is the look and I hope you guys liked it and like always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video okay see you guys in my next video